What's in the bag? Lunch. Big Mac, fries. Play you for it. You and me for my Big Mac? First one to miss watches the winner eat. No dunking. <laughs> Get in there. Get in there. Nothing but net. I think we're going to be here a while. I suggest you go get a Big Mac. Before we get rolling with today's video, I'd like to give a special thank you to everyone who's been watching so far, leaving comments, likes, and sharing these videos. Everyone who I get to talk to down in the comment section, I really appreciate it. It's always interesting to hear another perspective on the sneaker of the day. So if you're new around here, don't be a stranger. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button now. Give me a like on this video so that I know you enjoy the content that's coming your way. Today, I've got quite possibly the most disrespected Jordan 1 high of the year, maybe even of the past few years. The, the current resale on these is below $200. Now that's something I have not seen on a Jordan 1 in some time. These things, to be honest, they're okay. Everyone keeps calling them the McDonald's highs, and uh, that's funny, but they're not really the McDonald's highs. They're a fusion red and sort of like a, eh, orange peel kind of orange whatever they're not for me if I'm being honest I picked these up because I won them on a raffle raffles are so hard to get a hold of these days that every time you win them I feel obligated to pick them up so I went down finish line pick these up easy peasy now more than likely they're gonna go to go or they're gonna be traded away for something I'd prefer but I got these for retail, so I couldn't pass it up. Even though this shoe seems to be generally unliked by everyone, the material choices are really good. The tumbled leather on here is actually nice, which is sometimes a surprise with the Jordan 1s. The material can be really hit or miss. They gave you a pretty premium feel with this. They also gave you four laces. One of my lace bags came off. It's in the box right there, but four laces. You got a white, the yellow, the fusion reddish, uh, kind of color. It's a, this one's a little bit darker than the actual color on the shoe. And then you got a black lace. So pretty well-rounded uh, lace choices there. If you want to swatch it, swap it up, you want to double down, whatever you want to do, you want to mix it up. They gave you the options, which is always cool. And uh, it kind of shows you that they can do that all the time if they feel like it, but they don't feel like it. The sort of highlight on the shoe is actually this gradient effect on the tongue. On the Nike Air right there, it fades from the yellow to the orange or the orange to the pink or whatever. It fades from one color to the other. And I think that's a really cool, nice, smooth touch. My best advice for everyone who's watching this video, if you're interested in picking these up, go ahead and do it now. You can probably get them for a few dollars over retail, like 10 or $15 over retail. And for a Jordan 1 High, that's a kind of good thing to do. 200, 215, pretty solid. Uh, not really stepping out of your budget too much with that. And you never know. There's a good chance that these will go up over time. We've seen that happen to a bunch of Jordan 1 Highs. Most notably for me, the court purple, uh, 2.0s with the Chicago color blocking those shot up in price and I was smart enough to double up when I had the chance and I traded them out for something I'd rather have so these might be a business decision for you they might be something that you really want to wear but like I said if you want to get them go ahead and get them now I'm not gonna keep you for too much longer I can only say so much about this Jordan 1 high a few videos out there already I'm a little backed up on mine so if you want to see more like I said, please hit that thumbs up. Let me know that I'm doing a good job. Share these videos with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, peace. Support my channel by subscribing and liking so I can one day live out my complete dream of buying things from Amazon instead of just adding them to cart. Like this Sopranos box set. And I can finally figure out Who's got the frickin' 
Gabagool. Fuck, this shit's expensive. 